Maybe it happened like that. Well, indeed, uh, Desiree, because, you know, this province had to transfer most of their cases to, uh, to Gauteng and different provinces because they do not have a periodic uh, surgery here in the province. So now the water has been built and now they'll be able to tackle those surgeries that they need to tackle, especially young children. So we couldn't do the, the interview inside because the children inside are super excited. They're crying. It's such a, a, a lovely uh, environment inside. But let's speak to the surgeon who actually conducted one of those uh, surgeries yesterday, even though my friend also, uh, colleague, Frank Goldwana was inside the, the surgery when they were conducting their first surgery here at the Rob Ferreira. Let's speak to uh, Dr. Elliot uh, Motloung, who is the head of uh, periodic uh, um, uh, surgery here in the province. Uh, just talk to us about the first uh, surgery that you guys have done yesterday. The little child was only a few days old. Just talk to us about what was uh, the surgery all about and also the, the surgeries that you guys have done so far since yesterday. Yeah, well, thank you very much for, uh, for uh, inviting us here. Yeah, we uh, had a, a few surgeries that we were conducting uh, since yesterday. Uh, one of the operations we did uh, is a laparoscopic uh, uh, Nissan for duplication. It's an operation we do for children with a cerebral palsy and because the children cannot feed themselves and they, their food goes up, they get lung uh, problems and they cannot thrive. So we do an operation where we help them to create a valve that their food should not go up and then we create a, a place for them to feed so they can gain weight and, and grow and be strong. But what's different is we do minimal excess surgery. So instead of cutting the children open, we use the cameras and, and do minimal excess surgery on them. So that was uh, yesterday uh, surgery. I had uh, colleagues of mine uh, coming from, from Cape Town, Dr. Uh, Shimam and Harilal I was operating with, and Dr. Mapunda, who's also head of pediatric surgery from VETS. Uh, they were joining us for that case. Uh, uh, yesterday and uh, we continued uh, even, even this morning we've got another child now that we he was born with a disease of the gallbladder that created a big uh, a common bile duct which is called colodocal cyst uh, so it results in the child uh, and result in the child having liver failure so we were removing that uh, uh, cyst this morning we were operating with professor Shifilaru who's also head of pediatric surgery at SMU it's very important for these uh, big pediatric surgeons names that I, I mentioned for them to come to our province and, and realize the work we are trying to do and to say, Dr. Mokloung, we are here, we are available to partner with you and help the children of Mpumalanga. And also, what does this mean for the province and also what does this mean for you as a young doctor who just joined in and then what does this mean for you guys as the doctor and also for the province, especially for young children that will be able to not only be transported to a far-flung provinces but also to be able to, to help the whole province because this is going to be the base of and you're going to be the head of that. What does this mean to you and what does this mean for the whole province? Yeah, I mean, to me, it, 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 it's a realization of... Uh, I come from a, a rural province, I come from the free state and my dream and vision was to ensure that pediatric surgery as an art, as, 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 a, as a form of practice reaches every child in South Africa. It should be practiced in every rural place and Mpumalanga has given me the opportunity and the, the, the community of Mpumalanga has opened up and helped us to renovate and build this and it means a lot for these children because most of our children they are from rural places and their parents don't have the resources to get them these surgeries. And for a state hospital like uh, Rob Ferreira to be able to have a pediatric surgical services, which was never there before, uh, it's going to make sure that these children do not uh, die on their way to, to, to Gauteng or somewhere else trying to find a bed somewhere. And it's a collaborative work which I plan to do with uh, the great work that the general surgeons already have done here, the pediatricians, and that teamwork to be able to make sure that these children do not have to really go somewhere else because the services are here. And a child from Temba Hospital can just get on a taxi, come and get the best care that they can get in South Africa here in, in, in Pumalanga. Uh, Dr. Mutloun, thank you so much for speaking to us. Let's quickly speak to uh, Andre Hutton. He's old, Dr. Andre Hutton, rather, he's from the Pediatric uh, Care for Africa. You built the, the you guys built the the, 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 the the center here. Just talk to us about why you guys wanted to be involved with the with uh, with this state hospital. Certainly, let me explain to you very briefly what we do. Then you'll understand why we got involved. We have one program called a thousand surgeries for a thousand children, which means we are arranging one thousand surgeries for one thousand children. And then I met Dr. Mutloun, and in the meantime we 
we actually become personal friends and he was telling me about his dream here at, at Rob Ferrara to open a uh, pediatric uh, surgical unit and we got on board because for us it's fantastic news mm -hmm. that children don't have to go to Whitbank anymore or to Johannesburg. It is very, it is, uh, very often impossible for a child to travel to Whitbank. Uh, if the child managed to get there, where's the mom and dad going to stay when the child is in hospital? So we are so happy that we could assist in a very, very small way to, to help Dr. Mutlong to open the uh, local pediatric surgical ward here in Rock Ferrara in Mapumalanga. And also just talk to us about why do you guys decide, you know, yes, you guys decided, and, but how many stages are you guys expected to, to, to help Mr. Mr. Mutlong with that you guys are going to do in the, last, uh, in the next few months to come? All right, our hard work is done. Unfortunately, now as Dr. Mutlong's work going to start, we only made it possible for him. You must, know, you must remember a child when you're two years old. A hospital is a scary place. Your mom leaves you here and she goes away. You don't understand why is your mommy leaving you here. So we make it as, as child friendly for them as possible. You see the murals on the walls, uh, all the teddy bears and the balloons and so on. And that makes a child a little bit relaxed. You know, it's not so, he doesn't feel so abandoned by his mom and his dad. Uh, but unfortunately, the hard work now uh, is for Dr. Matlong, as we're going to just keep on sending him children uh, to do surgeries on. So, uh, Dr. Matlong, thank you so much for allowing us to be part of your, of your dream. Fantastic. That was Dr. Andre Hutton, also from the uh, Pediatric uh, Africa, uh, Care for Africa, uh, speaking to us about the, this new ward and also this new uh, surgeries that they're going to be doing here for young children. Uh, Desiree, this is uh, uh, the first time this is happening in the province, and also you can imagine Dr. Montlaoun is also very proud for the fact that you know what he has brought this thing to the province, and also the department is expected, the MEC of Health is expected to also address the media about the surgeries that have been done and also the successes that they have done since yesterday. Dumelo, I'm not going to lie. I'm so excited by this development. It's as if I come from Mpumalanga. I think a lot is going to come out of this. Thank you so much for giving us this update and this story.